Ever wondered what it would be like if we could edit genes like a text document? Let's dive into the world of gene editing, more specifically, the revolutionary technology of CRISPR slash Cas9. This powerful tool in modern biology acts like a molecular scissor, capable of cutting and modifying genes with unprecedented precision. But how does it work? The magic of CRISPR-Cas9 lies in two key components, the nucleus, Cas9, and a target-specifying guide, RNA. Together, they form an intricate system that can seek out and edit specific sequences within a genome. However, for this system to function effectively, it's crucial that both the Cas9 and the guide RNA are delivered to the cell. Just imagine them as a pair of skilled surgeons, ready to perform a delicate operation. But first, they need to reach the operation theater, the cell. This is where the delivery of CRISPR-Cas9 comes into play. So, how do we get these molecular scissors and their guide into the cell, you may ask? Well, the answer lies in the variety of delivery systems used to transport the Cas9 nucleus and its guide, RNA, into the cell to perform their gene editing magic. There are different CRISPR platforms designed for this purpose, each with its unique approach. One such platform is the all-in-one or one plasmid system. Here, both the Cas9 and the guide RNA are encoded on the same vector. This system offers simplicity ensuring that both elements reach their destination simultaneously. Then we have the two-plasmid system. In this setup, Cas9 and the guide RNA are encoded on different vectors. This allows for more flexibility as it enables the independent regulation of each component. This way, researchers can manipulate the levels of Cas9 and guide RNA independently, providing an extra layer of control. But the story doesn't end there. Enter GeneMedi a company that has developed different types of viral vectors to deliver these CRISPR-Cas9 systems. These include lentivirus, adenovirus, and adeno-associated virus, or AAV. Each of these viral vectors has its unique advantages, from their ability to infect both dividing and non-dividing cells, to their high viral titer and even their reduced immunogenicity. In essence, these delivery systems serve as the vehicle, carrying the CRISPR-Cas9 system to its destination within the cell. Thus, the delivery systems are crucial for the successful application of CRISPR-Cas9. Now that we know how the delivery works, what does this mean for the world of genetics? Let's dive in. The potential applications of effective CRISPR-Cas9 delivery techniques are vast and transformative. These techniques are poised to revolutionize fields as diverse as medicine and agriculture. In medicine, for example, they could enable the modification of genes causing inherited diseases, opening up vistas for potential cures. In agriculture, they could allow the creation of crops resistant to pests or adverse weather conditions, thereby increasing food security. But it's not just about the potential benefits. The challenges and ethical considerations surrounding gene editing are equally significant. The precision of gene targeting and the possibility of off-target effects is a challenge that researchers are striving to overcome. There's also the concern about the long-term effects of gene editing and the potential for unforeseen consequences. Ethically, the concept of gene editing raises profound questions. Where do we draw the line between therapeutic use and enhancement? Who gets to decide which traits are desirable or undesirable? These are complex questions that society must grapple with as the technology advances. The world of genetics is standing on the brink of a new era and the delivery techniques of CRISPR-Cas9 are the keys to this future. The potential is enormous, but so are the challenges and ethical dilemmas. As we continue to unlock the power of genetics, we must tread thoughtfully and responsibly. Indeed, the way we deliver CRISPR-Cas9 could redefine the future of genetics 